Hello, my name is Wayne Willis. I'm a head chef here at Venue Birmingham and today I'm going to be cooking jerk chicken with rice and peas and a mango lime salsa. First we're going to start off by making the marinade. Scotch bonnet, de-seeded and halved. Mixed spices which is cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg and cayenne pepper. Some chopped onion, garlic cloves and ginger. Brown sugar, juice of two limes and one zest, fresh coriander and now we're going to blitz this up and make a paste. As you blend just add the oil slowly so you can get the right consistency for what you want. Okay we're now at the stage where we're going to marinate the chicken but first before we start that we're just going to score the skin. The reason why we score the skin is so we can allow the marinade to penetrate the meat during the marinating process. Work the marinade into the part where you've scored the meat. Once you've marinated the chicken, pop it into the fridge for a minimum of two hours to allow it to marinate, or for the best result, leave it overnight. Now the meat's marinated, we're going to seal it off skin side down until the skin goes crispy, then turn it over and we pop it in the oven for 15 to 20 minutes or until cooked. Now the chicken's in the oven cooking, we can start the rice. Bring a pan of salted water up to the boil. Once it's up to boil, add your red beans, add one scotch bonnet, but don't pierce it because you want the flavour from the scotch bonnet, not the heat. Two spring onions, a smashed garlic clove, a few sprigs of thyme, and then the coconut milk. Just swirl that around so it releases all the flavours and bring it back up to the boil. Once that's come up to the boil, we add the rice. Turn it down to simmer and then leave it for about 10 minutes till cooked. While the chicken's cooking and the rice is boiling away, we can start the mango salsa now. Simply combine all the ingredients, so chilli, mango, some finely chopped red onion. Then we're going to chop some fresh mint. doesn't need to be fine, just nice and rough. Pop that in. Half of the lime juice. And then fold that together. And put it aside ready for when you're plating. Now the chicken's cooked and the rice is ready, we can now begin to plate up. First we start with a bit of rice. And what we're going to do is we're going to press this down so it holds a firm shape. Turn the plate up so you can get it down where you want it. And it should turn out. With the chicken, just lie the top part of the chicken off the top and let it fall. Now we're going to stick the mango salsa on. And literally just put that on top of the chicken. If it falls onto the side, that's fine. Gives it that more rustic look. Just a few nice edible flowers around the plate, just to give it that bit more colour and tropical look. And now just finish it with the spike from a pineapple. Voila, jerk chicken with rice and peas and a mango and lime salsa.